Oh, oh, I'm full, you guys. Those are, those are good burgers. Are you sure those were burgers? Ugh. Cue the roll call. Loyal Aim Lab, Pink Caster Lightred, Equipment Wielder, Blue Caster, Cheetah's Azeal, Explorer from the Unknown, Yellow Caster, Auto Car, Broadcasting loud and opinionated perspectives across the internet, Radio Sentai Cast Ranger, On Air! And welcome everyone to the final episode for season one. I've entered the Amazons. Well, the show gets cancelled. I'm just saying, Cell was here earlier and I don't see him now. Oh, oh. Are you sure you... <laughs> hey, wash it down with some, uh, some water. <laughs> so, oh god, Cell's blood! <laughs> so, yeah, as we mentioned last week, we decided to double up and do episode 12 and 13 for this double episode special of Enter the Amazon. And oh boy! There are some uh, tense moments in both of these episodes. Yeah, and uh, because we all love Mamo, I believe we mentioned last week that we would watch this finale with actual burgers, which we did. And I have to say, I was immediately reminded why I don't eat burgers from McDonald's. Because you forgot your cheese? No, not even that. But <laughs> not even it wasn't even the fact that I said cheeseburger with just ketchup and they didn't put the cheese on. It was just the fact that McDonald's burgers are just not great in general. No, uh, ugh. Geez, that was, yeah, that's true. I had like two free or two big McDoubles, and I was just like, eh. Yeah, I, yeah, we each got three burgers. I didn't. I also didn't feel like eating the third one. And Gar felt bad that he didn't get one, so I was like, here you go. I'm well, you were going to get one, but you just didn't like how snotty the fucking drive-through person was being. Yeah, that's true. Anyways, eat at McDonald's. Um. So we're talking about episodes 12, Lost, Lost in the Fog. Lost in the Fog and episode 13, M. M. Subtle as fuck. Oh, yeah. What is this, Sesame Street? Today's letter is <laughs> <clears throat> just, just in this dark and bloody show. Today's episode is brought to you by the letter M. 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 For Mamoru. M. For Massacre. M. M. <laughs> yeah. We're oh. So the, um, there was a shot at the start of episode 12 where it was like a shot of the moon and the sky was greenish, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? The dark hour from Persona 3? Yep. Hopefully people out there got that one. Um, so yeah, shit really went down. They decided, like, oh, we're gonna use the the gas drones to... Operation Talalak. Yeah, Talalak to, you know, destroy the Amazons in the city, but the director lady was like, no, 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 Hark is still out there. I don't want him being killed and the president's like too bad i want to see this it wasn't just him apparently uh Jin had all the files on the amazons and was ready to broadcast them to the internet oh uh, yeah unless she agreed to flip the switch <laughs> even though he knew he was probably going to die yeah because mm -hmm. he's all hard-assed about oh gotta kill all the amazons they were my mistake yeah so much that he actually just like went out into the rain or whatever like that and just found like 10 Amazons, and he's just like, alright, I'm gonna whip your ass, <laughs> let's do it. And then just throughout most of the episode, you just see him, like, still fighting and kicking all the asses of the Amazons, so. Um, so, the other, the focus of this episode was the fact that Mamoru is slowly losing himself to his instincts, which was he, really fucking painful to he, watch. And he doesn't want burgers anymore. Yeah, burgers no longer satisfied. You know, human meat. Fuku noticed and tried to warn Kazuya, but he was like, nah, he's good. Yeah, Mis Misaki's just like, yeah, it's good. And then later on, like, Mamoru's just like wa running down with uh, Misaki, and he's just like, I'm hungry. He's like, okay, here, have his burger. No, oh, Immediately come back. discards it. Yeah. And then later on, just chomp chomps his arm. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, what's his face glasses do? Just like. Fuku. Yeah, Fuku. Like, runs down and he just sees, like, Misaki just, like, on the ground, just, like, He's in pain, and then you just see Mamoru just. Eating his fucking eating his arm. arm. His that's, forearm, that's too. Just yeah. Disturbing. Fu oh, yeah. Fuku was about to put him down, but Kazuya, because they all love Mamo, stops him. Yeah, he's like, no. And that was really. Oh, that, that was messed, touching. That messed me up. No, but that was touching. Like, even though, like, he did that. Eat my arm, but don't shoot him! He's 
our friend! He is! Well, no, nothing. It actually reminds me of a joke that happened in Family Guy this week, where it's like... What? Basically, Brian was in a remake of Old Yeller, and they, oh. were, and they did the scene like, I'm sorry. Brian turns around with a gun. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Peaches are coming in mighty good this year. Smoke. Well, but, yeah. That was nothing. You wow. heard nothing. My fault. Anyways, um... But no, uh... So, yeah, Jin, he goes outside. Basically, it starts to rain, and some of the Amazons are... Turning into 246, to be exact. Oh, no. It's that's like, what, some of them are starting to lose their shit. Yeah, there's even, like, one guy in a truck, and he was just like, ah! Just, like, Why are you it's freaking like, out? You're in a truck! Well, no, it, it was freaking out because he was, he was awakening. Yeah, he was turning into an Amazon. Yeah, but none of the gas they, happened yet. I don't, I don't think they ever really fully explained why 246 Amazons in their immediate area started freaking out. Maybe it was just the rain. Maybe the rain spooked them. I don't know. It doesn't... Yeah. <laughs> um, just... just Rain's the trigger. So, Haruka's still, like... Because it's he, plot rain. Yeah, Haruka uh, finds, like, some survivors, like, uh, one of them being, like, the woman we saw from the restaurant in, like, previous episodes. And, and pretty uh, much sticks to his guns, where he's like, if you haven't eaten anyone, I'll protect you from everyone. And even lies to uh, Yuku, saying, well, he's like, oh, they're vermin, and he's like, nope. Fuku. Oh, Fuku, and he's like, or they burn, and he's like, nope. Why am I the only one who's got everyone's names down? Yeah, I actually, don't care about that. I honestly found that hilarious. Like, about it's it. the last episode. I'm just like... Who is this fucker? No, 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 she, no, Shido no, is the no, captain. No, no, Nozomi no. is the woman with the melee weapons. Ka- Kazuya... Yes, he's, Misaki. His, Misaki Kazuya is the jokester with the PR and the shotgun. Fuku is the sniper. And fucking everyone else is everyone else. Yep. And Mamoru's Mamoru and Haruka's... And Haruka Kanata. Is the Omega. Um, but yeah, so Haruka just wants to, like, protect any Amazons he can find, and then just shit happens. He, like, defeats some wild Amazons, and then... I just like how, at several points throughout these two episodes, like, they, they waste time, like, fighting the, the numpty Amazons, and then it's like, okay, it's time for, like, actual shit to happen. Things are gonna happen. And then they just immediately one-shot the monster and move on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Freaking, that happened a lot. It's like, wait, if you could do that, then why didn't you do it yet? Because then there wouldn't be fight scenes. And Haruka did like so much like beheading. He just like every time like every time he just saw Amazon get his head blown off, I was just like headshot. Yeah, and we saw him fight a fucking bat Amazon, so it was basically Ryder versus Batman. Yeah, like they see him, they're like, oh, confirmed to target, and just the bat Amazon's just like hanging upside down, just being like, yo, hey guys, hey, yo, I am. So, this episode, episode 12, did something that I didn't expect the series to do at all. We got a perfectly clear rip of Amazon Alpha's Henshin Chime. I think Toei's just starting to realize, like, we like the chimes, so... But they gave us one and not the other? They'll uh, give us the other one next season. Uh, wait, the Alpha Chime always sounded like it was, like, it's going like, Doa! do 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 yeah. Sounds like it's saying door. What, Alpha's? Yeah. No, it's saying wild. Oh, Okay. Oh, it's like saying wild in Japanese? No, it's just saying wild. Oh, I don't hear it, but I gotta listen closely again. Um, so yeah, and um, they're just... So they're yeah, st- you have like three fucking... Sub- or, like, you have three plots going on. You have Jin's plot of fighting the Amazons outside the building. You have, um, uh, Misazawa? Me- the director lady? Yeah, the director. Misazawa? Yeah. You have her story going on with the director. You have Haruka's story... And then you have, uh... Oh, you already said three. Sorry, four. There's four stories going on. The fema- the, the other girl. female. The Mizuki? Girl. Yeah, Mizuki. If you can call that story, it's just... her. She took the golden bracelet that's supposed to add more sedative to Haruka so they can get him out of the city. And throw oh, is that... Two- oh, did they actually explain what it's supposed to do? Yeah. Oh, okay. That was, that I was didn't the pay thing. attention to that. I was just like, what the fuck is that gold armlet? What's they the they explained the first time they saw it, it was going to add an extra dose of sedative, to, uh, an extra dose of medicine to Haruka so they could take him under their control and get him out of the city and have Talala go out, go off without killing him. Oh, okay. And yeah, so the entire time, like, Mizuki's just like, take the armlet, take the armlet! Yeah, he's it, ignoring her. I don't, under- I don't understand that thing, because like... Her object, because the director's objective was to give that to Haruka so he could get out of the city, but Mizuki for some reason stole it, 
to I try and she, also give it to Haruka? Well, I guess she thought that because it was like coming from her, Haruka would be more like, oh, okay, well, you've given it to me, sure. Yeah, and look how well that, that fucking worked. Well, it's no, because Haruka, no, he looked over at her and was like, you know, I'm doing this for myself. This is how I want to live. I want you to not be in my way. And he's like trying to protect her at the same time, so. Um. Actually, it was pretty gruesome seeing, like, that one woman turning into an Amazon. Like, you saw her whole, like, face, like, just exploding, her eyeballs. Her just, body, like, ah! her bo she had, like, shit tons of, like, spots on her body just pop like giant alien pimples. But yeah, just, like, no pun intended, they, they went wild. Oh. <laughs> Those were wild. Did they go type wild? No. no. God, like imagine type wild. This is an Drive as an Amazon would be cool. The, um, you mean SIC wild? Yeah. Um... So Mamo, after going nuts, eating some uh, eating some Kentucky Fried Kazuya, <laughs> no, eventually <laughs> regains his composure after Fuku steps in, and you know he and sees promptly, the coin. Promptly freaks the fuck out. Can we just have like a picture, of just like Colonel Sanders' body, but it's just like the the head is just Misaki's face is like ah. <laughs> <laughs> Kentucky Fried Mikasia. There's the fucking episode name. Yay! <laughs> Kentucky Fried. Just him is his screaming hurtful face on Colonel Sanders. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. All right. Um. So while Alpha's still fighting, episode twelve ends with the Talalak drones closing in on Mamo crying in an alleyway. Yeah, and just no, and. Uh, Haruka's, like, trying to convince Mamoru, just, like, you know, like, oh, we gotta, like, run away, we gotta, you know, it's okay if you feel like you have to eat people, like, that's how we have to live, we'll, find, we'll find another way to live. It's and, our nature. Yeah, that was an interesting standpoint to take, where it's like, yeah, wanting to eat people isn't evil, that's just our instincts as Amazon, it's, you know, food chain bullshit. <laughs> it's just like Rick, go it's like Rick going up to Mori, alright, <laughs> Mamoru, you, you gotta get your shit together. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Erica. I don't know if I can do that. You gotta do it. You gotta do it, Mama Ruth. Gotta get your shit together. You gotta eat people, Mama. 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 Adventures. Honeyadventures.com. Honeyadventures.com. Um, so yeah. So then we get to episode 13, which, um, apparently... Well, we're, already, we're already talking about 13, because okay. the whole... Oh, oh conversation? Well, yeah, that, oh, okay. was, that was at the start of 13. Sorry. Um... So yeah, then, um... So Talalak finishes off, and awkward cut to three weeks later. Yeah, oh. It's Sunshine Day! Yeah, it's like... Um... Okay? That's kind of awkward. They should have at least... You know, I'm glad that they mentioned that three weeks passed. But at least they could have put in, in like, title... Like, in A kanji... Like, th like three weeks hey, later. At least someone said it has been three weeks. So, so here's the stupidest part of this whole time skip. Mm -hmm. They are very, very aware that at this point, Talalak killed off over two thirds of the Amazon population, and they... leaving about a thousand left. So apparently, it was decided. Oh, there's only a thousand left. What the fuck do we need the extermination team for? And they promptly handed them all severance packages. And then... With, uh... What's, what's his name? Kazuya? Yeah, with Kazuya with extra pay. Because he got fucked because up. Because he lost an arm, and which... I don't pay his medical bills for getting his fucking auto mail yeah. installed. But, but, it clicked into my head. Wait a minute, he lost his arm. This is a reboot of the Showa era. Can we... Pl does that mean he's going to become Rider Man? No. <laughs> what was Rider Man's uh, name? Joji Yuki. Yeah. Okay. Well, Joji. No. Please? No. <laughs> so? You know, you can add that in your own head cannon, Gar. Kamen Rider, Rider Man next. Um, so what do they decide, what does the company decide to do? All right, we're going to send a surveillance team to go look for all the Amazons. And so you just see all of them, like, scrunched up in a van. And, and immediately I'm just like... <laughs> They're gonna die, and we see them turn a corner, and you just hear, ah! and I'm like, the surveillance team, those nerds from the early part of the show, they're gonna get fucked, and they did and, immediately, and fucked they got. So then, uh, cut to freaking Shido germ in a bar, a germaphobe guy going up to Shido in a bar, and he Con like, orders Kano, and Kano, he orders a beer. 
And, like, being, like, such the germaphobe that he fucking is, like, he grabs, like, the beer, but he puts, like, a napkin over it and, like, pours into his glass, and then he puts the napkin over the glass, and then... And I'm just like, you're... He's the neat, weird. He's the neatest drunk you'll ever meet. Yeah. So he's like trying to convince like Shido, you know, uh, we we need you guys to hunt down the last thousand Amazons that are around. Apparently, we'll pay you a shit ton. Apparently, firing you while there were still a thousand monsters left in town might have been a fucking bad idea. But then we couldn't have you know the heartwarming scene of their leader going to every single member and being like, hey, here's your pay. This is Mamos. So, you need to go find oh, them. you know what else was funny? Like while we were watching, as he, as Shido was handing everyone their pay, and he's about to walk off, my immediate comment was, "See you all on Facebook." <laughs> Cause like, think of it. Oh, joy. They're talking. They're like treating each other like they're never gonna see or talk to each other ever again. And I'm like, do none of you use like social media at all? No. Social media doesn't Just, exist. We're, in we're this. hardened exterminators. We don't get a social life. So. So Gordon, this is bullshit. So, I'll see you all on Discord. I hope you all have the app. Um, I'll see you for a weekly game of Quake. <laughs> all right, everyone, <laughs> let's all clap in. Oh shit! Sorry, cousin. So uh, I'm gonna flip you off my left hand, but I can't. So Shido, being tired of all this bullshit, refuses his offer, and kind of just like. Uh, okay, and then she goes, and shit. so he kind of goes to walk off out of the bar, and then he turns around, he's like, by the way, we uh, found traces of an Amazon that uh, describes Mamoru. Oh, also we found this, and shows, like, the little necklace with the coin on it, and she knows just immediately like, oh, fuck you. Which, which is an interesting development. He wouldn't do it for the money, but he did it for the friendship. Wow, it's like if... It's like if Force Awakens ended with Rey going to Luke's, like, destination, being like, I'm not going to train you. Here's your old lightsaber. All right, let's ju- let's do this. I accept. That I accept. All right, cool. Fuck it, let the training begin. Um, dun, 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 dun. so, apparently Nozomi is, like, works with children now. Teaching kids at some sort of community center. And boy, did she look cute and not being in her outfit. Hey, I thought she looked cute in the outfit. She still has wrestling, bitch. So, so, just, like, it's funny, like... But that's hot. Like, Shido, like, walks, like, to, like, a decent distance from her, and she looks over at her and just sees him, and he's just like, oh, fuck. Cassandra! Cassandra! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Rod knows me! We gotta go save Mamo! Um, so, yeah, she accepts, and then he goes to see uh, Fuku or whatever. And then, like, Fugu's, like, dealing with his mother, who apparently has, like, Alzheimer's or something like she that. She has some, some sort of mental condition. Because she's like, she's oh, calling... thank you, doctor! And, and at first we were like, oh, is Fuku a doctor? But then he's like, are you okay, mom? And we're like, oh... And then just, Shido's not in any, like, range where he could see him, but he just turns around and he sees him outside in the window and he's like, oh, fuck. Da, 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 da. And I just, like, all the, da, like, da, 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 da. No, 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 it's... Because there's only four of them now. <laughs> um, the four I, warriors of light. So then, cut, the, the A team. So then, cut to Misaki and like some guys are bullying him and like they take his prosthetic and it's like oh, well, this, they this, snapped his arm like his prosthetic in half. Well, not no, no they, they didn't snap they, in half. They, they just, just pulled, took it off of him. They pulled it out and threw it at him. Oh, because it, it looked like like the, no, the, no, no, the, no. The, the the loop thing is where it attached to his arm. Oh. Um, so then Nozomi walks up behind the two guys and just, like, kick, he, kicks one directly in the balls, which is the fucking shit awesome. And yeah. And it's like, hey, we found Mamoru. We're going to go rescue him. Oh, that smile, that smile on Kazuya's face in that shot was beautiful. Yeah, he's just like, oh, yay! <laughs> and we're all just like, going to get me some vengeance. So then, yeah. <laughs> so then they go they go to the beach. They have... No, it, they, it practically turns into Pokemon Go. All right, we need to find Mamu. He's over there. Straight forward. Oh shit, there's two on the He's left. He's on the radar! <laughs> He's on the radar! There's, there's so many Amazons on the radar! And, and they're they, fucking drowsy. And they immediately <laughs> and they immediately get surrounded. Fucking drowsy. He's on the radar. Drowsies! So they're fighting a bunch of shit. Can, can this see. just be called Kamen Rider Drowsies? No. Oh. Um, uh, and it's funny because like you see like they have all their gear and stuff like that because I guess the company had it for them. Oh yeah. And you just see like Misaki just like awkwardly just like holding his shotgun with one arm. He's like he's pro he's like holding a shotgun with his good hand and then propping it 
on his like wrist of his bad arm to help with the recoil. Yeah, but you can see his hand just like his fake hand just oh, sticking that out there. Reminds, oh. That reminds me of Jamie Lannister from Game of Thrones. He lost his hand and he got this like gold hand. So one time he was like blocking a shot and he blocked it with his with his fake hand and then like the, the, immediately cut down the does, other dude with does that hand. hand. Does that hand turn things into gold that it touches? No. Damn well, it. Okay, on. well it's a bronze hand. Hang but... on. What if? It's the hand of Midas. What if? What if? He mutates himself into a half Amazon, and thus his arm grows back. Kazuya? Yeah. That'd I don't be think cool. Want, I don't think he'd want to be an Amazon. No, but like he would want his arm back though. Uh, Maybe season two. We'll see. We'll mm. see. Um. Either okay. Either Rider Man or he becomes like the lizard from Spider Man. I will take either. So the, the one. Sorry, just yeah. Go sorry, for it, go for I it. hate you cutting you off. Sorry, no, it's fine. One thing I really want season two to have to do. Give Mamo a belt. Give Mamo That's a belt. That's all I want. I want Mamo to be an official rider. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping that for season two they have more riders. And yeah. More riders. That'd be cool. Because um, uh, there's like other ones. There's Gam. There's other. There's Gam. The, the entire Greek Data. alphabet. Well, I mean, we've already had Delta. Yeah. Uh, no, wasn't it Sigma? Yeah. Was... Uh, no, I, I'm just saying we've already had Kyle oh, yeah. Rider Delta. Yeah, oh, yeah, Delta true. from Friday. Um. Then Kaizo. So, it looks like the team's about to be, like, super fucking surrounded, and then, lo and behold, Haruka comes in, like, wipes out, like, four of them at once. He, he fucking three. drive-bys three of them with a throat slash. And they're just, heads explode. It's like, oh, shit. So, so he's like, what the fuck are you guys doing here? And it's like, oh, we're here looking for Mamoru. And he's like, yeah, I, I've got him, don't worry, it's, he's good. Yeah, so what Haruka is apparently elected to do is create this little safe haven on Plot Beach where he's guarding the survivors... But then killing off anyone who goes ape shit. Oh my but, god, Gar, he's the governor! No, no, he's not the governor. He's not the governor. The governor? The governor. The governor? No. He's Caesar from Planet of the Apes. Oh. He led his society, he led his own kind to safety away from humanity. Okay. Because he trusted humanity until, you know, shit hit the fan. Oh, Planet of the Amazons, go watch, go watch, third season. Go watch Rise of the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> yeah, go watch Rise in the original. Yep. And Battle, because Battle is one of my favorites. Um, so yeah, and then uh, Jin shows up, and he oh. looks fucked up. Oh, so, yeah, right. face, no. Um, like, like Gar said while we were watching, he's basically become Rancic in terms of his facial appearance. Yeah, basically what happened is like, you know... The gas didn't kill him. Yeah, the gas didn't kill him, but it, it at least... fucked him up real good. It fucked... It screwed him up and Mamu or er, and Mamu a bit. Yeah, Haruka but apparently. Haruka got him fine because he's a unique existence. Yeah, basically we find it. But basically, Jin shows up carrying like it looked like a jellyfish at first. I'm like, I thought it looked like a robot part or some shit. But then, and then he clarifies, "Yeah, I take your, ver I take you guys and I eat you because." He eats what he kills. Yeah, and it was yeah. fucking gross. It's fine. I scene, said dude. that, oh, and then Jesus. he said it on, like, he said it in the episode. So I was like, so fine. So now he's eating Amazon corpses. And oh, I think God. that's when Jin has become bad shit crazy. Um, yeah, yeah, fair. And, and what's interesting is and that... If, and officially a villain. Apparently during these three weeks, Jin has, like, tried to go and fight the uh, Amazons that Hark is protecting, and... Arcus is like, oh, Jin, at it again, huh? Like, how many, time, how many times are we going to do this? And Jin's like, till I fucking kill them all, you know it. Oh, yeah, he's like, I won't, like, oh, I can't die in peace until I kill them all. Well, I can't live in peace until you're dead. And I'm like, this started, to, this started to sound like the setup for a fucking weekly ongoing TV show that never ends. It's just like... Every week, Jin comes up with a scheme to kill the Amazons, <laughs> but, and Haruka but, defends them from him. Uh, like some fucking Roadrunner Wily e. Coyote bullshit. Uh, oh and then at the end, they fight, Haruka beats Jin, and they're like, okay, see you next week. No, no it's like um, the dog and the coyote protecting the sheep, where they where they punch in every day. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> see ya, Sam. See ya, see ya, Sam, yeah. Um... So they proceed to both like transform at the same time in this really cool like explosion of a transformation. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So like, uh, Jin's like Amazon, and then just Haruka just belching out his like loudest Amazon he can fucking do. And I Which, love how Omega has clear bad signs of wear and tear and damage on yeah. his suit more than usual. Because because they're not suits; they're their bodies. They're their monster bodies. But it's you like think only... you think they would have regenerated? Well, 
Well, that one thing I did enjoy was how um when Jin transformed, it was kind of like the original uh, Amazon did because it you, throughout the whole entire series, just like Amazon, but where in this episode he's like ah ma zon. Oh, yeah, that was partially because he had a mouth full of fucking corpse. Uh, oh, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> and that's what it would sound like with dick and mouth. <laughs> I was about to say, dick, hard case of dick and mouth. Um, so yeah, so they're fighting, whatever, like that, and then um, Jin tries to go, like, uh, he, like, tackles, or he, like, hits uh, Haruka to the ground and goes after a couple of uh, Amazon stragglers, kills a couple of them. And then uh, Mamoru jumps in. And yay! We're like, yay, he's not dead. And, like, he... Well, no, they didn't say that he was dead. It's just we found this when, you know, picking up the other... Yeah, no, we, no, did, no, no, we, no. we weren't sure what we had happened sure. to him. Yeah. And now um, we know that he's alive. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, so Mamoru's yeah. fighting. And then the entire extermination team's like, well, we're fighting whoever is fighting with. And... Against and so like, yeah, they fight Alpha. They try holding him down. It was and, like it, it was an interesting conundrum because on one hand they they're hired to kill the Amazons, which is what Jin is doing. But the reason they all agreed to it is so they could find Mamo because they love him. So when yes. Mamo established who the villain was, it became clear to them they're on the side of Omega and Mamo. Yep. Um. So then Alpha is officially a villain, you guys. He is. Yeah. Um. I always knew he was going to be, honestly, because he was kind of like the anti-hero of the show. Yeah, I, I kind of, I liked him this whole, this whole show so far. Um. Well, we'll get into that when we talk about like our overall thoughts. Um. So yeah, he like knocks over, makes Mamoru like de henshin or whatever like that, and then he's like, I'm gonna fucking kill you, and then Omega comes in, Haruka like defends him, and then just. They just, like, Jin's violently like, injure each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they both, like, have each other. Slice each other's, each like, other's necks. Just slice each other's necks. I swear to God, I thought they were going to both die. No, because there, there wouldn't be a season two. But they one. came very close because yeah. they start hobbling away from each other. Yeah, and Jin's just like, all right, I'll be back next time. And I'll be back. He ends up, like, collapsing, like, in kind of, like, a desert kind of area. And, well, and far, like, farther off yeah. from the beach. Yeah, yeah. farther along the beach. It looked, yeah. And then, uh, so I'm just like, I'm like, fuck, I wonder, where, like, I wonder if, like, Nanaha, like, knows where he is. Lo and behold, Nanaha shows up. L- like, a second after you said that. And then Jin's just like, what are you doing here? And she's like, I kind of figured you needed to see me. And he's just like, oh my god, you just know everything, Can't don't get you? anything past you. <laughs> I love you. And just, like... Just, like, sit, like, kiss and sit commenting. <laughs> Yeah, no, he just kisses her, looks over the camera, winks. <laughs> ding, ding. No, no, picks him up, looks at the camera. You know what's gonna happen. Um, oh yeah, he's gonna get fucked. <laughs> um, but in which uh, Haruka, like basically the team's like, oh, come back with us, and it's like, these are here, my here, people here, now. <laughs> yeah, and they're, like, they're like, Mamu, please come back with us. And Haruka practically like, yeah, he doesn't want to. Mamo decides that he must live among the no, Amazons. No, Mamo didn't now. even have a choice. Haruka cho- like, No, 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 he didn't choose. He, Haruka let go of him so Mamo could make his choice, and he decided to stay with Haruka and the other Amazons because he's afraid of going nuts and eating Misaki's other arm. Yeah. So he becomes Kikai? No, yeah. he becomes Frankie! Yeah, even Misaki is just like, he's like, I'm he's fine! Like, See you, I'm fixed! Don't worry about it! Um... So yeah, and then it goes back to like the the company, and um, we find that we find out that like the reason why Alpha and Omega are different. Alpha Jin, he is a human who injected himself with Amazon DNA, Which but Haruka is a Amazon that was injected with human DNA, Director Lady's DNA. Which yes, Haruka actually is her son. You are. Wait. There is no father. You are the father. Oh. You are the mother. Wait a minute. Didn't they do that with like Cartman from South Park or yeah, something? Yeah, probably. Uh, there was. It's a whole thing. We'll get into that. But yeah, so that explains why she always fought so hard to keep him alive because she actually is his mommy. Oh. That was adorable. Yeah, and like the president dude's just like, it's like, oh, he's a type. He of got guy. real fucking creepy. Oh my. Yeah, he, he was creepy. Like the last few episodes, he's fucking creepy. No, especially in the one like in episode twelve when he started to talk about uh, operating or uh, Talalak. And he started to like lick his lips, and and I started to, we started to wonder is he an Amazon? No, God, he's being creepy. No, because he's like super fucking happy, getting pleasure of the fact like already you know, kill all these fuckers. You know who he is? He's Kogami. Oh, there you go. 
Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Um, what if he becomes an Amazon? No, like I keep saying, I've been saying this entire series that we've been doing this, I hope he gets pushed up the window. <laughs> like I want, no. And then he stands up. He, like, gets on his cane, stands up, he's like, oh, fuck all these Amazons over! You know, what, you know what else was funny about any scene involving him? The fact that Tachibana was still there. I guess they decided not to fire him, even though there was a lot of fucking bullshit he no, called. No, he's like a parent. He's like, yeah, like, like, I hate you. Hey, come back here. I love you. You just make me very upset. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and even like, even like, uh, kind of like, mocks or whatever, uh, uh, director lady, and yeah. it's just like, oh, so we got two thirds of them, huh? So that still leaves a thousand more. Yeah. Wonderful. I fucking love that speech. Oh, it sounds like there's a thousand of them left. Good oh, job! Oh, let's see here. Um, oh, yeah, you still fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just like, Shut up. Bye, buddy! Bye, buddy! Um, let's... You know what? I did it last episode. I'm going to do it this episode. Oh. Drunk Jen. Hey, this is my bitch. <laughs> give, give me that. <laughs> Listen here, you little shit. This is my bitch. Those are my foods. Those are my foods. And you're in the way. I made these things. I have them. Let me eat my babies. Get in my belly. <laughs> and uh, space, weird. Yeah, the team practically runs off. Yeah, they're like, so what are we going to do now? And she was just like, well, we got to hunt if you want to eat. <laughs> and, and they decide to walk off. And I'm like... Everything you're trying to hunt is on that beach. No, but what so are you going to do? No, but okay, we don't know if Haruka gathered up all one thousand survivors. Like, y yes, go. In. No, you go into the forest right beside the beach, and it's like the Ewok forest. <laughs> what what they're all just having fun and dancing around <laughs> and eating berries because they're all vegetarians oh, now. Oh God! Wait, what just and they're all just singing blah blah instead of yubnub. What if, like, season two, like, when, like, the team shows up to, like, like some village or whatever, and just Harker's like, oh, guys, come here, like, we've, we've developed a very good and, like, you know, good society, like, we've made housing, everyone's got jobs, and you just see, like, an Amazon, like, an apron, like, with this little kid or something, Amazon. And Baby like, Amazon. Mommy, are those humans? Yes, dear. Don't can worry, they won't hurt you. Oh. They're in my collection oh, God. of dead things. Welcome to Amazonia. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Amazonia. Yeah, welcome to Amazonia. <laughs> no, no, you fucked up. I was making a Magitopia reference. Yeah, I got it. Amazonia. <laughs> <laughs> we eat your blood and flesh. <laughs> so the episode ends with something that was slightly confusing. Haruka does his little Rory bit at the camera, and then the gold armlet, which should have been nowhere near them, is just lying there on the beach. Or maybe, that, maybe, or maybe well, that was just a silver one. There's a shiny well, no. It looked gold. Maybe, maybe he cast off his medicine. Well, no. What if... What if... It's kind of spiked into his arm. Like, what if that's not... Like, he didn't really take it, but that was just foreshadowing. Like, what's to come? Maybe. Maybe. We'll have to find out. In the next season! Yeah, that, uh, won't, be, that um, won't be till like, next year. April. April? Okay. Oh. April 1st. So yeah. we get, is it still, is still April Fool's joke, guy? Yes. Best <laughs> April, this show was the best April Fool's joke ever. I was fooled. I was fooled into thinking it was an awesome show. This show, was fooled, right. this show fooled me into loving Mamoru. Yeah, we're, we're both, we're all very thankful that Mamoru is not dead. And he chose, oh, he yeah. chose a life of living among his own kind. Mm -hmm. So, um, give him the belt. Give him the belt. Yeah, Ichi really wants him to have a belt next season. But he's already powerful enough. And he could be better. He could be Super Mamoru. He could be Common Rider Mole. Mole, 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 mole. mole. Uh, okay, so we want Common Rider Mole. We want Rider Man. Hell, fuck! Make the entire extermination team Amazons. Oh my Throw God! Belts. A team of Amazons to hunt yeah, Amazons. Yeah, it'll just be like, oh, like what do the we? The Amazig. It'll just be like, oh, what do? Uh, well, like, how do we stop it. the Amazons? Why don't we inject you with Amazon DNA? Fight fire with fire. You know, just go to the black market, sell your, sell your butt for, for science. I don't know. I can't remember what the rant was from Aaron. Um, 
So fuck! I can't wait till April for more episodes. I want it now. No, me too. Um. All right. So now we'll give an overall thoughts. So I'll go first. Honestly, the show was was great. Going in, like when it was announced, I knew I knew I was gonna love it because I wanted an Amazon Heisei like reboot. Yeah. <laughs> and you, I got it. You got your fucking wish. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you so sound like it's a detriment. I <laughs> want Black RX. Go watch Mass Rider. Okay. No, do stronger. Stronger would be awesome. No, um, fuck it. Sky Rider. So, Harko honestly was a very interesting character. Um, he's my favorite between him and Alpha, because Omega's design is, like, a lot cooler, in my opinion. I like that it's Amazon, but with a more Heisei look. Um... And, you know, you felt for them. The extermination team was really cool. You all felt for them as well. They all had, like, their own uniqueness to the team. Uh, especially Mamoru. He Despite was that, none of you, neither of you could remember their fucking names. Well, now I do. Let's see. Is okay, she, name them off. Is Shido. Which one no, is he? Uh, Shido's the captain. Uh -huh. Nozomi's the female with the melee weapons. Fuku's the sniper. Misaki's the PR shotgun guy. He lost his arm. And then there's Mamoru. Burger eating Amazon. I forgot one. No, I didn't. Oh, Blue Buster? I was about He's to say, dead. name the two dead guys. Um, June and Blue Buster. <laughs> Ryusuke! Ryusuke, yes, Blue Buster. What, 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 Ryuji! What? He's the one who became Dragonfly. Um, what about the yeah. other two that, you know, that died? I just said that. No, no, in the, in like episode three when they were trapped in the apartment building. Oh, you mean the guys who were sent to help them? Oh, okay. No, yeah, the surveillance right. nerds. <laughs> um, anyways. <laughs> what are you doing here, nerd? <laughs> it's your shirt. What, you like Amazons? What a bunch of nerds. Where's your belt, Amazon? Anyways, finish your thoughts. Okay, um, sorry. Um, yeah, so Mamoru was my favorite member. Probably Misaki as well, just because I liked how funny he was. And he was, like, always trying to get the people away for safety. Um... Director Lee was a hardcore bitch at first, but when by the end when you find out that like Haruka's her actual son and she cared a lot about him, like that's cool. No love for her daughter at all. Like there was never at any point where she showed any concern for her. She even at one point when like she was her she came up to her and was like, "Hey, so what's up with Haruka? F fuck off. Go to your room. Go to your room. Go to school, do your homework." That was like the Eat your no. Piece. That was literally the only interaction that those two had. Yep. Any other time, she completely ignored her, and I was just like, "Wow." And, and that's why she stole the Galarian because she said, "Fuck you, mom." Yeah. Um, Kano, I didn't like just because he was a stuck-up asshole, and I hated his whole germaphobic thing. Like, grow a pair, dude. Like seriously. Um, You're a pair. President dude was wacky. Tachibana was was fun as a business dude because he wanted to like take control of something, but he couldn't do it. And Jin punched him in the nose. <laughs> that was fun. Oh my perfect. Um, nose. The Amazon designs were pretty cool. I I liked them. Sigma was really cool. I like his design as well. I thought he was a cool little mid mid boss. Mm -hmm. So mid boss before the big boss. I, which I was, was no boss. I was worried that Sigma was going to be like the final. Dude, but I'm glad it wasn't. Because um, I like that like all of them had to work together to fight Sigma, and they won. Um, but yeah, overall, this was a really cool show. I'm looking forward to season two. I still want to get an Amazon driver, but that's probably going to be a long time away before I can get one of those. It's so. be a long... Well, it's only two hundred dollars right now if I want to get it. So that's way too much. I think Even that's fair. for a belt. That's it's a belt. by premium. For so a belt used by three riders and a weapon. Yep. So I can get a Sengoku driver that can be used by 18 riders for 120 bucks. Oh, yeah, but you have to get the plate for each rider. Fuck, you're right. Uh, <laughs> um, Alright, Scar. What huh? do you think of Amazon's? Thoughts um, on show overall. I know Ichi always has the most. Well, at, when I, before I watched the series, I I thought I wasn't going to enjoy it. I thought it was going to be like boring and drag, like, dragged on. But honestly, when, because we all watched it together at the exact same time every day, or not every day, every week. like every week, it, it got to be enjoyable because we all just threw out questions at each other. Or like we would all make jokes about like something that would happen. So which, and, and I believe that's what Am like this show is supposed to represent. It's supposed to represent like friendship, companionship, in which that's what we did throughout this series. <laughs> we, we all bonded as roommates watching yeah, this. Yeah, we all bonded as roommates. Does that mean you're going to eat Lane's arm? 
I don't know where that thing's been, so no. That's right. Mavo should have thought of that. I wonder where this arm's been. Who said I would take that hand? Hey, whatever. <laughs> this is my dominant hand, so... But not, okay, but for designs, pretty enjoyable. Love the designs. That theme song will never get old. Oh, Armor Zone, yeah, that's... I, I still sing it in the car. Kel... Kel... My girlfriend Kelly fucking sings it. She Six, likes that no, song, no. too. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. On my way to school. I need something to wake me up. Amazon's theme. There you go. Believe in Armor Zone. Uh, I want to... We live in Armour Zone. Yeah. I, I can't wait for April to see what happens to everyone. In which, uh... Yeah, better be some, better be some like, two years later shit. Cause no. I, uh, no, I love love when sequels to shows take place, like, years later. I don't want it to take place years later. Okay, a few months. If there's a few month time skip, I'm okay with that. Minimum that a year. actual time. Minimum a year. Yes. Don't go all, like, five years later on that shit. No, 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 no five years is too much. Like, uh, well, two the years max, are only a year older. Two years max, minimum one year. Where's the SH figure arts come rare Sigma? That's gonna be a burned eye. Where, where, burned where, where, where's Mole? We're not gonna get Mamoru. Oh, for, if if Omega and Alpha With do, openable face. No, with, with Al, if Alpha and Omega do well, I can see them, like, I can see... Uh, Tamashii Nations being like, you know what? Let's do Mamoru. People will love it. I'm picking up. I know you would love. You would want it, Ichi. Yeah. I, I'm would. picking up an Omega figure for sure. Mm. But in which, uh, a pretty good seat, pretty good series overall. Oh, just sorry. Some quick last minute notes. Um, the choreography <coughs> I thought was fantastic. Fight scenes were great. Oh. The camera work was really good. Honestly, out of all these episodes, I'd have to say episode four is still holds up to be my favorite because that just shit was going down like it was all in the cards and just like everyone worked together and Omega just fucking Actually, slaughtered people. I think my favorite episodes would have to be the Sigma episodes, like the three part, like mm-hmm. was it three episodes? Yeah, it was three. Yeah, because he showed up at the end of one episode. The second episode was about how badass he was, and the third part was finishing him. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, my favorite. To give it my Gar's Toku Blogs rating, I would give it No Regrets, which is 100% in my book. No, for me. I give it my completionist rating of Finipedit. Actually, yeah, that's that's where I got the idea from. <laughs> yeah, for, for me, if you're, if you're listening to this and you haven't watched it already on Amazon's, Go fucking watch it. Like, seriously. Wait, not why would someone be yeah, Why would they be they haven't watched it? If they haven't watched it. I don't know. Maybe some people just don't feel like it and they like us talking about this it. This is why I always put required viewing in the description. We should yeah, have suggested that, viewing. Yeah, but that would also piss me off when I'd be like, fuck, I can't find a copy of that. <laughs> then, Anyways. Then I would have to skip that. Ishii! So. I'm most interested in hearing what you think. It, please. Please. Indulge us. <laughs> Enlighten us. So, so like you, before, of Rider or let me season start. one. Okay. So like Peace. Gar, I was also not entirely looking forward to the show before we started watching it, because I was not a fan of what I've seen of Amazon, which was the three episodes we talked about for Cast Ranger. Yep. Um, but I have to say the show managed to turn around my expectations. Uh, the gore was not. Nearly as bad as I was expecting it to be. Especially since it's coming from mostly monsters, so... Yeah, whatever. Yeah. There, were, there were a couple scenes where it was just like, ah! But it was like twice in throughout the whole show, if that. Yeah. Um, I I really didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. The, the, the characters were all unique and interesting. A couple of them should have maybe gotten some more development, like... I, th- I think uh, Nozomi and Fuku didn't really get enough attention to their characters. Yeah. They had a couple of interesting scenes, and that was about it. Other than that, they were just there to help fight. Um, Mamoru was adorable, despite being a man-child. Um, like I said, I really wanted him to get a belt. They, could, they had the opportunity and ignored it, but I hope they do so in Season 2, because he deserves to be a full-fledged rider and not just a good monster. Um, Haruka as a character was kind of stale to watch because it's just like, oh no, I'm a monster. What should I do? Oh, uh, I'm going to stop these guys because they kill people and I'm 
gonna not stop these other guys because they are not killing people. And that's my reason for existing. And everyone around him is just like, uh, that's stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> and he's like, no, fuck you. I'm gonna keep doing it. In fact, I'm gonna do it harder. So, yeah, like, it was... Uh, Village of Amazon. While I appreciate the fact that he was written like a protagonist, it, it really made him kind of a stale character. Whereas, on the other hand, I really, really enjoyed Jin because he was so different. Just... Even just seeing him make that cocky fucking grin was real interesting to me. Um... Yeah, I got, you gotta give him props for, you know, it's some, like, the Amazons are something he created, and he felt that he was the only one to have to destroy what he created, and yeah. he wanted to do it himself so he could have the satisfaction I, of doing it. I feel like they it's took... Mock's story, but better. That's exactly what I was about to say. Mm. They, they took Mock's character motivation and reapplied it better. Totally. Mm -hmm. Because Continue. it was like... Oh, yeah, we'll see. Um, what else? Favorite episode? Um, hard to say. I don't think any one episode I would call my favorite. I like the whole story. One thing I'll grant this show, it feels like we've been watching it for a whole year. It feels like it was a whole, the whole story of an entire Rider show of a, what would normally be a year-long series effectively condensed into 13 episodes. And you want, you, what's cool is we're getting a sequel series to this, so we're like, yay. I think I understand why. Because Conrader nowadays is all based on gimmicks. We need to sell the gimmicks. Here they're like, all right, there's no gimmick. You don't need to worry about there's toy the sales. There's the one toy release. Yeah, there's just the one thing. Like, there's only the one DX belt release. Aside from that, you got 13 episodes to make a, to make a movie. Yeah, that's the thing. It, was, it really was kind of a return felt, to form. Like, like, it was supposed to be similar to Amazon in that it was about... The story and the fighting and the characters. Less so about the gimmicks and the toys like a lot of Heisei and Neo Heisei is. Yeah. It's more and, or less and, Neo Heisei. And while a lot of writer purists will look down on Neo Heisei for being toy sales and gimmicky, that's kind of what Ryder is and has been. But it, at the same time, it was kind of nice to see something that was a departure from that. Yeah. Like, Especially it, something for like the mature fans. Yeah, okay. and the thing is, a lot of people will be like, you can either like the old rider or you can like the new gimmicky rider, but I think it's okay to like both. Yeah, me too. And this was a perfect way to illustrate that, where you, it's totally okay to love shows like like Gaim and Exade and, and, what, and the recent Neo Heisei shows, even though they're gimmicky and made just to sell toys. And it's also okay to like old rider where it wasn't so much about toys and it was more about the story. Mm -hmm. A lot of people will be like, Yo, you, you can only like one or the other and if you like the gimmicky stuff, you're not a true writer fan. But like, I, like, I don't think that's right. Like, let's all admit, we're all part of the Con Writer group on Facebook and we all know everyone has only probably, like, everyone's probably only seen the Heisei era and never actually went back into the Showa era. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not entirely, like, like we've seen some show. we just haven't bothered to watch the entire well, I think, shows. Again, I think the problem is because, you know, a lot some of it's not subbed. Yeah, that's also a problem. Um, no, but I mean, for me it's like it's cool that they redid Amazon in, in a sort of way. Like they did their own little uh, version of it like they hey say that. But maybe this will inspire people to go back and see the original source material. So it's like, oh, this Amazon show. I wonder how cool the actual Amazon was. Uh, so like, I'd like to see Toei do more of these kind of like series, like with uh, well, rebooting Hasty. Well, so like, maybe do Black. Like Black was oh, already a no 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 no, 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 no. Let me finish. Let me finish. Black was already a fantastic fucking show. But think about what they could do if they like tweak the story just a little bit. Like, I don't know, make Shadow Moon more. Something I, maybe have I, Black uh, here's, have to deal with his inner demons or something because he technically he is but, a monster. But, here's they, the thing they, though, they, what they already did that oh. in Black. Oh, well, All right, they, they, they say it. No, but basically, if what? if they did the same thing to a different show, they would have to do it the same way as Amazon's, where it's not the same characters. Yeah, it just uses yeah. the same concepts. Yeah, in which honestly. I would love to see a Super 1 remake. I don't even know anything about Super 1 aside from what a suit looks like. He's American. Yeah. 
Like they can they could do something with it. Cause like um, I, c- I couldn't see them like do like a serious like a uh, version of like Stronger. Cause Stronger was meant to be like awesome. campy and silly. Cause like no, cause well, Shigeru yeah. Joe was honestly a really like ha ha I'm well, a hero of the people. Well, you do understand, right? No. Come in, Ishimori. We're pissed off of Amazon. You're it's canceled. Okay, okay, okay. I'll make it more kid friendly. So. No, no, no. It's like well, what do you want me to do? I still got like. 13 episodes. Rewrite something. Make it better. Make it for children. Make it stronger. (gasps) Anyways, back to my thoughts on Amazon. We are terrible, sorry. So, I actually did like Kano. You know, Mr. Germaphobe guy. Mm -hmm. I thought he was an interesting side character. I think he did, he played his role effectively. Um, Pretended to puss out like a bitch, but actually didn't. Yeah. (laughs) That was interesting. Uh, I, like I said during that episode, I really, really wish they had not let Tachibana get away with what he did. I, I thought that was a grave misstep. Why did nobody call the cops? Yeah! Or, or beat the shit out of him. Because the more. cops couldn't do anything! Yeah, they could. That, I'm not They even, have okay, evidence. We've talked about it. Um, I had other thoughts. I'm just trying to remember. Sigma? Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, let's talk about some of the other characters. Sigma, I thought, was a really cool idea. Where they basically reanimated a fucking zombie and gave it a belt. And what better way to like intimidate the team or whatever like that? By making it by a making face it of their someone friend. that they knew. Yeah. So bravo to them. It's Excellent like, villain work. Like, can you rip? It's like Warp Dark Matter from Buzz Lightyear. Oh yeah. Buzz can't really you know defeat him because you know he was his partner. Is it my Even name? Dark Matter. Uh, yeah, it's like. I'm evil. I mean, come on. Warp dark matter. It's in my name. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> uh, I feel like the show could have completely omitted Mizuki from every scene she was in. And Jesus. the show would have been exactly the same. Okay. I actually have to agree with you. She was kind of pointless for it series. Even though All I... she did the whole show was go, Stop fighting! You shouldn't be no, fighting! No, go what? back to your... Fucking aquarium! You know what? She was kind of like the symbol of Haruka's, like, what humanity he might have had left that he could have gone back to. But Haruka decided to just go more towards what he really is. So it's understood. Because, like, remember, he's an Amazon that was injected with human DNA. So technically, he's not human to begin with. So he's just like, I've been living a lie all these years. Yeah. So now I'm going to my true calling. Yeah. Even though I already gave the show. A no regrets, like a hundred percent. Yes, I don't like that character, but I can over, like, I can overlook that. Okay. Um, I really like the idea of Jin having an actual girlfriend. Nana was a real interesting character too. Oh, she was amazing. I, 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 I like these very few and far between instances where characters in these Tokusatsu shows have actual established romances. Like yeah, like she'd get pissed off at Jin for like being reckless and stuff, but then in the end she's like. No, I love you. I'm going to help you. Like, you know, we're going to do this together. And Jin's just like, oh, I love you. I, I wish we would have had a little bit more backstory in her and where she came from and everything. Season 2 might show that. Well, um, we know she could be an Amazon. That'd be cool if like, she became... She gets a belt? Time Runner, Amazon, Beta. Oh, they'll be the fighting couple. Yeah, that'd oh, be awesome. That'd be cute. Maybe that was supposed to be the idea because the Omega Belt did come from them. And you, honestly, you it makes you realize that like without Nanaha, Jim would have been fucked a long, long time. Oh, like, for sure. He would have if she didn't show up at that last moment in the last episode. Like Jim would have probably died there. He would have died at several points or been left in that fucking cage. Exactly. So like Nanaha's a badass fucking son of a bitch. So. All right. Good so Lane, I think that's about it. Enjoyed it. I Ichi. loved it. Enjoyed it. Me, enjoyed it. So hey, thanks, guy. Overall, we all enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, we enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to season two. I am. I'm Jin. All right. Wow, we almost hit an hour. <laughs> this is not twenty minutes at all. Yeah. But no, we had a lot to talk about, so that's good. Yeah. Chances um, are, this is probably what season two is going to be like. Yeah. So. Like not well, not like every episode, but probably like the first episode of season two and the last episode of season two. So going on that note, Enter the Amazons is not dead. 
We're just taking a break until season two comes out, so we will be back. So maybe we're... we'll have more people to join us. Who knows? Maybe we can try to convince Raven to watch season one, and he can join us for season two because uh, he's well, he's shown interest. So well, we'd have to record it on a different day then. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll find out. Um, yeah. But yeah. So each would you like to do a promotion? So, uh, everyone listening to this almost hour-long episode, thanks very much for joining us for this wild ride through the web series that was Kamen Rider Amazons. I hope you enjoyed our commentary. Um, if you'd like to hear more from us, please check out our hub website, castranger.podbean.com. Uh, check out our recently established YouTube channel and Patreon, which you can find links to on the site. Uh, please uh, consider pledging towards us to make, help us make the show better for all of you. Uh, and as always, you can find us and our meme posting mayhem on the Radio Sentai Cast Ranger Facebook page, and you can tweet at us at Ixy Studios. So thank you once again for joining us for another Cast Ranger mini show production. We will be back. And we will be back. Cast Ranger will return. And enter the Amazons too. The uh, uh, Amazonic Boogaloo. <laughs> secret, Bye. It's secret of the Amazons. Oh, secret of the Amazons. <laughs> yeah, secret of the Amazons. Bye, everybody.